Jane Digby. Born on the 3rd of April 1807, died on the 11th of August 1881. Jane was the daughter of senior British naval officer Admiral Henry Digby, who sailed under Admiral Nelson during the Battle of Trafalgar, and renowned beauty Lady Jane Elizabeth Coke. Her family's fortune was acquired from the capture of a Spanish treasure ship, Santa Brigida, in 1799. In 1824, when Jane was 17 years old, she was married to a man twice her age, Edward Law, 1st Earl of Ellenborough. During their marriage, she had three affairs, with her maternal cousin, a Colonel George Anson, and Austrian statesman, Prince Felix of Schwarzenberg. In 1828, Jane had a son, Arthur Dudley Law, and despite some doubt about whether it was her husband or her cousin who fathered him, Edward acknowledged the child as legitimate. It was around this time that Jane began her affair with Prince Felix, and the two had a daughter named Matilde in 1829. Due to the fact that Jane was still married to Edward at the time, she was sent away to be raised by Felix's sister. In February of 1830, Arthur died at just two years old, and shortly after his death, Edward divorced Jane by an act of Parliament in what became a public scandal. Jane emigrated to Paris with Prince Felix, where in December of 1830 they had a son, also named Felix. The child tragically died just weeks after his birth and Prince Felix abandoned Jane in Paris. It was from these events that the then derogatory word Cad originated. The prince's nickname was Cad after his favourite horse Cadlins. After his desertion of Jane, the term became associated with ill-bred behaviour towards women. After Paris, Jane travelled to Munich, where she became the mistress of Ludwig I, King of Bavaria. While at court, Jane met Baron Karl von Wenigen. They married in 1833 and went on to have two children together, a son Heribert and a daughter Bertha. In 1838, Jane began an affair with a Greek count, Spiridon Theotokis, and they had a son together named Leonidas in 1840. Upon discovering their affair, her husband challenged the Count to a duel in which the latter was wounded. Despite winning the duel, Veningen released Jane from their marriage, took care of their children and remained her close friend for the rest of their lives. Though she was not legally divorced from her husband until 1842, in 1841 Jane converted to the Greek Orthodox faith and married Theotokos. The couple moved to Greece, where in 1846, their son Leonidas fell from a balcony and died. Shortly after the child's death, Theotokos divorced Jane, and she soon became the mistress of King Otto of Greece, son of her previous lover, Ludwig I, King of Bavaria. While in King Otto's court, she was introduced to Christodoulos Chatsopetros, a war hero from the Greek War of Independence and close advisor to the king. Their affair, as well as Chatsa Petros's various other sex scandals, led to their dismissal from court and for a time Jane lived a nomadic lifestyle of riding horses, living in caves and hunting in the mountains. It was during this time that she gained remarkable equestrian and marksman skills. Their relationship ended when Jane discovered his repeated infidelity and left him. In 1853, at the age of 46 years old, Jane travelled to the Middle East and fell in love with a Syrian sheikh, Abdul Majul El Mezrab, 20 years her junior. The two were married under Muslim law, highly unusual for the time, and it was reported that Jane became known as Sheikh Al Am Alaban, meaning Mother of Milk or Milky Lady, due to her fair complexion. Their marriage was a happy one. Jane adopted traditional Arab dress and learnt to speak Arabic in addition to the eight other languages she spoke fluently. They spent half of every year in the nomadic style, living in goat hair tents in the desert, and the rest of the year in a luxurious villa Jane had built in Damascus. It was during her time there that she befriended the renowned British explorer Richard Burton, and it was rumoured she may have contributed to his translation of the Kama Sutra. Her marriage to Abdul lasted 28 years until Jane's death of fever and dysentery in 1881. She was buried in the Protestant cemetery in Damascus and her grave bears a pink limestone footstone upon which is written her name in Arabic, written by her husband and hand carved. Jane was uncompromising in her pursuit of happiness and her many adventures spanned decades and across two continents. That is why she is one of our favourite weird wonderful women. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share and subscribe, and thanks for stopping by Weird Wonderful Women, the channel dedicated to all those weird and wonderful ladies who dare to be different.